What is going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to part one of the Beginner Guys tutorials on Farming Simulator 22 with your boy CJ Farms. I've really got to get used to saying Farming Simulator 22 or FS22. I've been saying FS19 for so long. Subscribe if you don't hear if you haven't already. Smash that like button for me. Click the bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content when I go live. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you base game stuff. Uh, that's what these beginner guys tutorials are going to be for. I'm going to show you stuff like how to harvest, how to fertilize, how to seed, uh, how to sow, how to grow your crop, how to how to harvest your crop. Everything that comes with Farm Sim are going to be in these beginner guys tutorials. Now, before we get started, when you start a new farm, your menu is going to be set by default. Uh, now, what does that mean? That means that if you want to get in and start your tractor manually, it's not going to happen, okay? Uh, if you um, if you want to change the time of the day down to real time, it's probably going to be set to five times by default. So, let's hit our escape key. And this is also for console players. If you're using a controller, you can hit the start key. Um, let me get uh, away from that. That's all growth type and stuff. So, what you want to do is go into your menu... And we're going to go down to our game settings, okay? This is the first thing you want to go into. And right here, you can you can name your game. I'm just going to name this one. Uh, we're going to name this one Tutorials, okay? And then I always like to turn the autosave inter interval off. Uh, it just saves your game like every 5 minutes, every 10 minutes, 15. Uh, you can have that on to save your game automatically if that's the kind of thing you like. If not, and you're like me, you want to save manually, you can just save right there, okay? Uh, now, we're going to go on down the time scale. You want your time scale in real time. What this real, what the time scale is for is it boosts your time, either boosts your time or slows it down. So the higher you go, the faster your clock will spin, okay? Uh, just keep in mind when you get past 120 times that this one right here, the point fifty times, is very, very slow. It's not fast. It's very slow, okay? So we're going to keep this on real time. This is your economic difficulty. Um, so uh, you can set on easy, normal, hard, uh, or easy. Um, difficult affects the buying and selling prices. Uh, also, the revenue of contracts is based on this factor. So... It, it's really based around, um, you know, the things that you buy and, and, you know, the crop that you sell and stuff like that. Now, you can choose to have your traffic on right here. Moving on down. I like my traffic on for the realism. Seasonal growth. This is very, very important. It turns on a growth calendar that, um, that adheres to the seasons and the withering of plants. Planting is only possible when the crop can reach maturity. So if you don't want your plants withering, if you want to be able to plant whenever you want to and harvest whenever you want to, I suggest setting this to no, okay? Um, you can put it to no, um, or you can have it on, and you can set it to pause and, and do it whenever you want. But I'm going to put mine on no. Now, if you want the realism of it, you can set it to yes, okay? For right now, we're going to set it to no for the sake of this tutorial. This is your days per month. Set the numbers of days per month. Changes will take effect in the next season. So when you have seasons activated, which is what this is right here, this is seasons activated, okay? That turns your seasons off. This is the days per month in which things will start changing, like your crop, your growth states, all that good stuff, okay? So you can set it up for 28 days, one day, two day, all the way up to 28 days, guys. Uh, I'm not going to set it for any days because I've got my seasons off. Um, <clears throat> set whether a specific month should be visible. Turn it off for dynamic visuals. So I'm going to leave mine off. You can have your snow on or off. Uh, but the, keep in mind, these controls here within the seasons menu only works if you have seasons on, I believe, okay? Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure about that. Crop destruction. Um, if you are one of them people that likes to take shortcuts through your fields and you don't like to take the roads half the time and you just want to get back to your farm and farm real quick like I do, I recommend turning this off because if you have it on and you run through your crop, you are going to destroy it. It's going to just, just destroy it, okay? Periodic plowing required. This means that periodically the game will tell you it's time to plow your fields. Um, if you want to do that willingly at free will, I'd recommend turning this off. If not, you can leave it on, okay? I'm not too sure about the field stone yet, guys. Determine if stones can appear if your fields when cultivating. Okay, so what this is, is so when you're cultivating and plowing, uh, I'm assuming it means that stones, rocks will appear in your dirt. So I'm going to leave that off. <laughs> we'll try that some other time. 
Uh, lime required. This means that the game will remind you it's time to lime your fields. Weeds. That means weeds will grow up into your fields. I like to leave all of this off, okay? Now, going on down to vehicle control right here, guys. On dirt, you have slow, normal, and fast, okay? And you have off. I like to set mine about normal. Automatic engine start. This needs to be set to off. Having it set to off will allow you to manually start and turn off your tractor, okay? Now, if you have it on, when you get in your tractor, it will automatically start. And when you get out of your tractor, it will automatically turn off. So I'm going to turn mine off so that when I get my tractor, I can start it by myself and turn it off by myself. Um, stop and go braking. This means keep the brake button held to brake and automatically start reversing once you have come to a standstill. I like to keep mine off. I mean, I'm sorry, I like to keep mine on. Traffic, I'm sorry, trailer fill limit. Uh, trailers can only be filled until the max. Allow weight. So this goes by weight, okay? So if you have this on uh, once your, depending on what tractor you're using, the horsepower of the tractor, if that tractor cannot pull any more than what you have in that trailer, it will stop and your trailer will, well, your, your, your tractor just won't be able to pull it. Simple as that. So I would recommend leaving this off. Um, so you can pull any kind of weight that you need to. Fuel usage, I recommend setting this to normal. Um, all this down here is your AI workers. Just leave everything the way it is. And then you want to click save. You always want to click save when you're done. Okay. Then we're going to move on down to the actual general settings. Uh, this is your help window on and off, which can also be toggled by the F1 key in game. And I'll show you how this works. That's, inter that's colorblind mode, interactive zone markers which allows you to see the active zone markers and where you need to sell things, buy things, yada, 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 etc. Okay. Field info, I'd recommend keeping this on so that you can walk up to your field and see if there's something that's planted there, something that's growing, or something that's been harvested. Or you can tell if your field has been fertilized or not fertilized. It's very important to keep these aspects on, okay? Um, here's, your money, here's your units, your money units. It goes from dollar to pound to euro. Uh, your measuring unit goes from miles to kilometers. Your temperature goes from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Area goes from acres to hectares, okay? Um, and uh, I leave my radio volume off because of copyright reasons. Um, this down here, guys, is your camera work. Indoor camera suspension, I, I recommend leaving that on for the realism. It allows the seat to bounce up and down as you're hitting bumps in your field, okay? Um Dynamic view camera. The view camera will try to stay horizontal with the environment. I have found I like to keep this off. It's just kind of weird when you jump from one track to the next and it adjusts the land to uh, adjust the camera to the to the to the angle of the land you're sitting on, so to speak. This is your invert Y look. Um, easy arm controls. We want those on. Uh, camera sensitivity, vehicle arm sensitivity. I'm going to go ahead and crank mine all the way up because I like to work as fast as I do. Steering back speed. Adjust the speed at which the wheel returns to the default position. So we'll leave that at, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that up to 100. Steering sensitivity, that's your steering sensitivity for your vehicle. You can turn it up or you can turn it down. Direction change defines the vehicle direction change is automatically toggled or manually by pressing a button. What this means is when you go in, when you put it in drive, if it's on automatic, it'll automatically go in drive when you when you hit the gas. Uh, when it's on automatic, it'll automatically go in reverse when you hit the brake, okay? Now, if it's set to manual, you will have to hit a button each time you want to go to drive and go to reverse, okay? I'm going to leave mine on automatic. Gear shift mode, we now have manual transmission, okay? I have not gotten that yet. Once I learn a little bit more about it, I will do a tutorial on that, okay? Um, this is your speedometer display value. You can do engine speed or you can do vehicle speed. I like doing vehicle speed. Uh, switch to trains. We can leave that on for right now. Input help mode. This is your input help mode, which you can use gamepad or keyboard only. I like leaving mine on automatic because I switch between keyboard and mouse. And what that does is when the help window comes up, uh, your drop down window in game, and you switch from your controller to your keyboard, it will go from your keyboard control, I mean your controller controls, to showing your keyboard controls and vice versa. And I will show you what I mean when I get in the game. This is your volume master, your vehicle volume, environment volume, all that good stuff. Uh, I would recommend turning the GUI, the GUI volume down because when you have it up, as you can see, it makes that very annoying sound. That gets a little bit annoying. I like turning mine off. We're going to go ahead and save. We're going to go to the next tab. 
Uh, this right here is your controls. You can actually select gamepad to see your gamepad controls. This will tell you all your gamepad controls in here. You can reset it. You can map it however you want uh, by going right here and doing it. Okay, we're going to go to the next tab. The next one just tells you about how to make money, spending money, cultivating, improving. This tells you everything you need to know about Farm Sim, okay? Everything you need to know. Um, so going back to the very top, this is our map, okay? And if you go up here to your growth in which this is your growth state, so uh, stubble tillage, cultivated, plowed, seed, everything goes by color. So you just look at the color and that will tell you what it's done. So purple means that the land has been harvested. So if we look here, for example, on field 29, that field... Uh, I'm sorry, that field has been plowed. That's a dark purple, so we need a light purple for the harvested. Now, if we go down here to where the uh, green areas are, I believe that is for um, growing. That is for growing. Now, if we go up here and we switch this, and controller users, I know you'll have to use your arrows for this or your bumpers. Um, if you go over, this is your soil composition. You go over again, this is your hot spots. Uh, so where all your vehicles and everything are, that's what this is for right here. And if you go over again, this is your crop types. You can crop types. You can deselect these or select them. So for example, if I deselect everything, you're gonna see nothing on the field but just plain fields. Now, if I go back up here and select wheat, it's gonna show me which fields have wheat on them. Okay, as you can see that. And then we're gonna select barley. Do we have any fields with barley? Um, da, 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 da. so the barley is brown. That's a little confusing here. All right, so we're going to canola. Canola is going to be your uh your green here. Oats is going to be brown, as you can see on field forty nine, and then yada yada etc 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 guys. But you get the you get the gist of it. That's how that works. Also, also all these right here, you can click on these and see what they are. It will tell you exactly what they are and what the, not what they do, but what they are. Um, going down to the next one here, guys, is going to be your active workers. So this is your workers map for your AI workers. So if you have workers going, this is where you will mainly see them at. Okay. This also shows your tractors on the map. If you click on those little tractors right there, that's the equipment that you have. All right. So the next one is going to be your weather, um, uh, and the weather coming up. This is mainly used for seasons. Okay. This right here is your um, prices. So for uh, wheat, this tells you the best place to sell your stuff, all right? And I'll go over all this stuff with you uh, once we get to that point. Uh, this down here is a vehicle overview of how many hours you put on your vehicle, the wear and tear, how much they've cost, yada, you know, all that good stuff. So going on the money symbol, this is your bank account, okay? It's very important to keep an eye on this. And guys, I always recommend everybody don't ever, ever do loans, okay? Don't ever do loans. I love you, sweetheart. Daddy's recording right now, honey. Give me a second, okay? What is it, baby? I see the dinosaur, yeah. But this guy's right here. Sorry about that, guys. This right here, uh, it tells you your bank loan, your bank balance. So don't ever do loans, guys. I, I don't recommend doing loans. I don't recommend those at all. But it's got everything you spend as well. So everything you spend for sold vehicles, livestock, sold animals, construction costs. So buildings, land, purchase land. So it's all down through here, guys. Right there it is. Um, if we move down to the animals, this is where your animal stats will be at once you have animals in the game, okay? Um, this is your contracts. You can do these contracts for side jobs for some extra money. That's all there is to pretty much say about that. Your production chain's right here. Uh, here's your statistics on how many fields you've cultivated, how many seeds you've sown, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera what you've plowed and all that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's, now if you want to save the game, you do have to be on one of these settings. Right here, you, you either have to be on general settings or you have to be on game settings and you just click save. For controller users uh, on Xbox, you would click the X button. All right, now we're gonna exit out and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to harvest. Now, when you first come to Elm Creek and that's where we are, by default, you're gonna have this equipment. now. To find the equipment that you own, go into your store, go into your store, all right, and you're going to go down to own items right there. See that, guys? 
This tells all your own items, and you can actually sell them here, too. If you want. If I want to go like this and sell my vehicles, I can. But keep in mind, it's you always make more money if you take them to the store and sell them, okay? Opposed to selling them straight from your garage, all right? So let's hop back out. <clears throat> On Elm Creek, you should have these by default. We're going to hop in. You will notice the tractor will not start, okay? We're going to drop down our menu by pressing the F1. It's going to drop it down. Um, and for keyboard users to start your vehicle, it's going to be the enter key. For Xbox users, it's going to be right bumper and X. Okay. Now, you're going to pull forward, and you're going to attach that weight. Then you're going to back up, and you're going to attach the cultivator. Weights are very important, guys. Weights are very important. Now, we are going to pull up. And I'm going to show you guys the basics on the vehicle and how it works. Uh, to go inside the vehicle for computer users to see on the keyboard, like that. For controller users on Xbox, it is right. You got to right click your thumbstick, just like that. See that? Now, to use your turn signals, it's going to be three on your numpad and one on your numpad. Two will activate your hazards, okay? Uh, Xbox users. Uh, right bumper, right on D-pad, right bumper, left on D-pad. Not too sure how to activate the hazards on Xbox yet. Not too sure how to do that. Okay. Uh, horn is right bumper and A. Just like that. Now, if you guys will see that, I have Xbox controllers up on my drop-down menu. Now, if I go to my keyboard, right, and move my mouse, it will then go to keyboard controls. That's what that auto input game uh, mode was for. That's what that was for, okay? Now, with that being said, we are now going to drop our harvester. I mean, I'm sorry, not our harvester. We're going to drop down our cultivator. And if you look up there on the uh, menu, you can hit the G key, and that will switch your tools. And you will see each tool highlight up there in the top right corner of that menu, okay? In the top right corner of that menu. And if you go to the front, okay, uh, it will tell you to hit V to lower the weight, but you always want that weight up, okay? Now we're going to hit G again, which will take us to the cultivator. Again, we will hit V, V as in Victor, to lower it down. And now we are going to start cultivating. And you can either go cruise control by hitting three on the keyboard or left bumper, right bumper, and B on the controller, guys. And you can start cultivating just like that. It's pretty easy, ladies and gentlemen, to cultivate. Uh, I'll probably do these series separate, like cultivating, fertilizing, all that good stuff. Now, once you come off the field, you want to raise your um, cultivator up uh, by pressing the V on the keyboard. Or um, you can press right bumper and B. I'm sorry, left bumper and B on the controller, okay? So, and then you just want to turn back around. I didn't tell you guys how to turn your lights on. So, to turn your lights on, on keyboard to turn your lights on is going to be your F key, okay? So, you hit your F key once, twice, three times. Some vehicles have two sets of lights, three sets of lights, and four sets of lights. This one has one, two, three, okay? There's your lights. Uh, for uh, controller users, you are going to uh, hit your right bumper, hold it down, and hit the B key. Okay, see that? So hold down right bumper, hit B, just like that. All right, and then we're going to drop down our harvester, our uh, cultivator again by hitting the V. Going to hit cruise control. And that's pretty much all there is to, did I say harvest? I meant cultivate. That's pretty much all there is to cultivating, guys. Um, but I did want to go over the main menu controls with you on this part of the tutorial and get it out of the way. That way on the rest of these um Big, uh, these the rest of these uh, beginner guide tutorials I can just show you pretty much how to farm um, but that's pretty much it there's not much else to cultivating as you can see we have a harvester waiting on us over there and I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, cultivating this field but that is gonna do it guys and girls subscribe if you don't hear if you haven't already smash that like button for me click the bell and click also you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live and if you miss an area like that, guys, don't stress about it. All you got to do is back up. Get wherever you need to be with it. Drop your cultivator down and just cultivate it like that, okay? Um, and uh, so you know when I post new content and when I go live. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this Beginner's Guide Tour. This is part one of many parts. Uh, until next time, the CJ Farms. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. There is one more thing I need to tell you guys before I end this video. If you have a vehicle with beacon lights, to turn your beacon lights on, for keyboard users, you're going to click the home key. H-O-M-E, home key, okay? For, um, for controller users, I believe, and let me, let me make sure I got this right. For controller users, you're going to click right bumper and up and that will turn on your beacons okay and then again keyboard users is home just like that okay uh but that is it guys one crop at a time we are helping america grow helping america grow. i cannot talk today i've done this is my third tour today and i cannot talk one crop at a time we are helping america grow i will see you all in the next video i'm gonna go ahead and cultivate this man yes yeah, son